In this video, we will look at dense graded asphalt in a little bit more detail. Dense graded aggregate is the most common asphaltic concrete used. It is a well graded aggregate, which means that there are a variety of sizes so the mix is impermeable. The smaller aggregate particles fill the voids between the larger particles. The specifications for the materials used for dense graded asphalt is NZTA M10 specification for dense graded and stone mastic asphalts. Some of the main requirements set out in the specification are that the asphaltic concrete should consist of angular particles to, minimize con to maximize contact areas between particles, have a crushing resistance above 200 kilonewtons, notice that's less than the 230 required for chip, have a weathering index of AA or BB, sorry, AA or BA. You will note that these requirements are much the same as those used for sealing chip, except a slightly lower crushing resistance is acceptable. Dense graded asphaltic concrete has several different mixes which vary according to the aggregate grading and the mix. This slide shows the grading requirements from NZTA M10 for the smaller size mixes. The table shows the minimum and maximum percentages passing each sieve size. We looked at these grading requirements when we looked at the base course aggregate specification. Note that the tables also show the minimum layer thickness and the required binder content for each mix. AC grades are designated for medium to heavy traffic loading and are designated as AC followed by the largest aggregate size. For example, AC10 has the largest aggregate size of 10 millimeters, as you can see in the table to the left. The table shows the mixes for AC10, AC14 and AC20 mixes, which are the most commonly used. There are also AC28 and AC40 mixes for roads with heavier loadings. Dense graded asphaltic concrete for light to medium traffic applications have the designation DG followed by the largest aggregate size and are shown in the table to the right. For example, DG7 has the largest aggregate size of 7 mm. DG mixes range from DG7 to DG20. Previously, they were des designated differently, so DG7 was called mix 10, G DG10 was mix 15, DG14 was mix 20, and DG20 was mix 25. Those designations are still used sometimes. Note also that the layer thicknesses get thicker as you uh, get up in the sizes. So the AC20 minimum layer size is 70 millimeters, whereas the minimum layer thickness for an AC10 is 35 millimeters. Notice also that the binder thickness reduces as the maximum as the minimum aggregate size gets bigger. Let's look at the differences between the DG and the AC mixes using grading envelopes. We looked at grading envelopes in the aggregate topic when, when we were ex examined the acceptable grading curves for base course. This slide shows the grading envelope for DG14 in orange stripes. The horizontal x-axis shows the varying sieve sizes on a log scale. Remember we use log scales to show the full range of sieve sizes equally. The vertical y-axis shows the percentage passing each sieve size. The grading envelope is the area between the maximum and minimum proportions allowable for each sieve size, and it shows the area in which an aggregate sample's grading curve needs to sit within for it to be suitable for use. For example, this green line is a grading curve of an aggregate mix that would be suitable for use with a DG14 asphaltic concrete. You can see that the curve is entirely within the envelope. While this red line shows the grading curve in aggregate that would not be suitable. It has too much coarse material, as you can see, with the section to the right being outside of the curve. Let's look at the AG14 grading envelope. Both mixes have the same maximum and minimum maximum aggregate size, which is 14 millimeters. So how do they differ? The blue-green area is the AC14 grading envelope. 
you can see that the AC14 has a narrower range of acceptable proportions for all sizes, except especially for the coarser sizes. This is because this mix needs to take higher loadings, and so a mix closer to the optimum proportions is required.